Hello YouTube! Today I will show you this structure which can convert the number systems of scoreboard values or rather give outputs in different number systems into the chat. So I will demonstrate it by just inputting some value for my input score for example um, 100 one and well I can press one of those buttons and I get the value in a specific base so base 10 decimal value is 101 the base 2 the binary value here you got 1101 uh, oh, or whatever uh, you can you can get base 3, base 4, base 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, everything from 2 to 10. This um, thing could calculate the results in uh, higher bases like 16 for hexadecimal for example if it was easily possible to output such, such uh, a result um, into the chat but the only thing you can output into the chat right now from scoreboard values is the decimal representation of a value so you just get zeros to nines so it's technically not really possible to output something like words, letters or some more digits for a hexadecimal so I don't do that with this equation so well I guess it's time now to explain you how everything works and I will start out with um, first making another example something you could probably calculate yourself to confirm um, well base 2 of 13 1 plus 4 plus 8 is 13 base 3 1 plus 3 plus 9 13, yes base 4 1 plus 3 times 4 is 13 mm -hmm. 2 times 5 plus 3 13 base 6 2 times 6 plus 1 mm -hmm. 7 plus 6 yep. 8 plus 5 9 plus 4 10 plus 3. It works. So, um, now I will start off with uh, this interface here. All this does is set the scoreboard value B to the specific base I want to have and then doing the same as would happen when I press this button. So you can see I can change the base manually and get the same results. So basically, these just set a scoreboard value and then use fill with a block of whetstone to activate these common blocks, which essentially do the same as these, uh, which is activate the calculation. And for the calculation, I got this array of command blocks. And how they are activated is by filling in whetstone blocks underneath them I first had it on top but then I added the signs so well I put it underneath and the command blocks which get activated by that are all the command blocks from this corner to basically the fill fills up to here so all these command blocks this away and this line gets activated and the way I've laid out it is that they get activated sequentially in such kind of rows. So first this command block gets activated, then that, then that, then that, and then this row, and then this row, and then this row, and so on, and then this row, and then this, this, and this are the last three ones activated. And I will quickly present you now what they do. So for calculating the um, 
for, for getting this output I basically have um, set a few fake players on my um, on a single objective which is called T which is essentially the same as objective I used the last for for my for my equations before as well well um the the output is um a tell war command which uses the the value or the fake player called b and i and o where b is the base and i is the input we define previously and o is the output generated so the output is actually a decimal number which just um which just represents the encoding in another number system. I did that because then it's easy um, to truncate this uh, th some some preceding zeros, and it's also much easier to implement this way, as you will see now, when I go over the algorithm. So, as um, as some values to calculate with, I use the value x, y, and z just so you know all the names I use and now I will start with the algorithm first I set the output to zero to um, get rid of the previously generated output then I give, um, set a helping z value to one um, and the z value will get multiplied by ten so that I get the factor by which I have to um, basically multiply my digits to put them together in a decimal number in the end um, so I proceed by starting with the lowest digit and going upwards so I start with z equals 1 this is basically a score player set t m o to 0 z to 1 then I um, set a, a value x to zero, uh, to to zero. This is wrong. Let me fix this. I set it to zero, and then add the input. So basically, x gets uh, um, the input gets copied into x with those two steps, and then I execute this row, was it, which is essentially doing the same as this row and this row and this row so all these commands are the same all these are the same all these are the same and I just copied them in MC edit and I do that nine times but um, how often I do that is not so important but rather what I do in them so the first thing I do in this step is I have my um, value y set to zero which is uh, then get getting um, added x on it. So basically, first I do is I copy the current x value, which is initially the input, into y. And then, which I do it with y is, I use a modulo um, with the base. So that way I get the, the lowest digit. So um, if you don't know what modulo does, you sh would have to look it up because I won't explain it now. But you could, if you know, you could basically simply understand that. For example, in base 2, if I have a number and take it modulo 2, I get the lowest digit from that number. And then what I do with the x value instead is not modulo it by b, but using the integer division divide divided by b to drop the the lowest digit basically so in other words which I what I do is I take the input value and calculate a division and a remainder and the um, side of the division is the new x value and the remainder gets started in y and then the Z comes into play because to pack everything into the output I just take Y times the current Z 
which is 1 initially, and then add this y to the output. And then I take z times 10. So if I redo the loop, I um, do another um, integer division with remainder on the new x value. And I get the new remainder with this the second most digit, uh, second second most small, the second small, uh, well, the the second least significant digit, if you want to call it that way. And well, what I do with with that is I store it into y, prepare the new x value, and then take y times ten in this case to put it into the second place in the output decimal value. And I do that nine times because a scoreboard value can um, I demonstrate it. If I have ten, ten digits in a scoreboard value number it will be too big but nine digits work. So I just calculate nine digits. So you can for example not um create two big binary numbers it will give you give you an overflow error message so for the lower basis this don't work because um the output value would be would have too many digits would be too big um so when i'm done with this i am um, basically have my output and the x value should have gone down to zero because i basically extracted all the digits from it and that's um, where, th where this condition here comes in if the x value is not already zero then um, I got basically the overflow or the underflow because um, well underflow is for negative numbers negative numbers work as well you get the underflow error or a negative number in another base so um, if x is bigger than, than zero, which is tested by checking if x is um, in the range of one and the maximum value a scoreboard can, can get to. Or if x is smaller than minus one, uh, smaller than or equal th uh, to minus one, so smaller than zero, then I will either output the error overflow or the error underflow. And if it's equal to zero, I will output simply the value O in the tail war. And I can well show you the real commands quickly. Set x uh, set y to zero looks like this. X uh, y plus plus and equal to x is this. X divide equal b is looking like that. Modulo equal y modulo equal b all using the objective t here y um, times then I am um, here um, for modulo 10 I use the um, fake player 10 which I have initialized to the um, the value 10 with um, this command over here so I just set the player name 10 to the value 10 so I have some convenient constants to work with O plus Y so that's all um, these command blocks get activated by the fill command these ones don't these are triggered by the um, comparators because one of those um, scoreboard tests will succeed activate the comparator and well despite from the tail war command there's a block data command which was um, set the success count, the output of the command block back to zero so that the um, comparator goes back off and the tail war looks like this I um, put everything into the extra value for convenience so I have because this is necessary a empty text here in the beginning and then I got the extra list which is the text base underscore then the score b of the objective T, then the text um, open parenthesis, then the, um, the name I of the objective T, 
then the text parenthesis is closed equal to um, and then some ex escaped um, double quote signs here then the objective O the so the so the name O and then the next quote so that the um, output gets formatted like this and here is just the um, it ends after the after the close parenthesis it just has a equal is equal to error overflow so i hope you find this hip helpful and i'll keep on working with um, command block ap operations because they offer a pretty quick and easy way to calculate things and do complex stuff in minecraft um, this shows some of the potentials. I hope that there will be maybe more possibilities to um, output uh, specific characters, specific um, characters for some scoreboard values or something, to basically create custom text messages and not just numbers uh, into s text messages this way. So it would be cool if Mojang added this, but well, so far, this is what I've got today for you. And if you like this video, press the like button if you want to see um, what I come up with in the future. Then subscribe to my channel and see you.